Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a love reading for you guys. And as usual, Capricorn, we have your oracle spread first. And uh, before we get started, if you're new, welcome in. And if you like my readings, you guys, and you're new, uh, you're probably going to have to type in my name to find me because uh, the notifications, you can hit the bell if you want, but they're probably not working. And uh, Power and Light Tarot, four words, right? And for you oldies but goodies, uh, you'll have to do the same, right? So let's see what we have. We have this beautiful woman here, uh, Capricorn, she is. And uh, <clears throat> this is Guinevere, right? We're going to talk about her in a minute. Uh, but we start, we have like eight cards here, eight, nine cards as the Oracle reading itself. And we're going to, you know, put the, uh, put the cards down here. Uh, for your reading but right now Capricorn we have the wolf to start the reading this is a great calling or expansion yeah so somebody you know feels like this is their great calling to come be with you or you do right either that or they think you know I don't know maybe you have a dog like that looks like that little wolf or something like that or they think you're going to be wolfy with them Capricorn don't be acting wolfy right oh <laughs> let's see maybe you're how maybe they're howling for you they could be we have the fate card that's why i say that right so this is eileen chang uh and she you know she learned her fate the hard way yeah because she grew up with parents who were in my opinion not fit to be parents right yeah because the story is pretty grim here like what happened to her but this is fate yeah this, that's why this is a great calling and then we have emily bronte uh, and she wrote, she wrote that book about, you know, Jane Eyre, right? Uh, and the story, I think she wrote all these books, uh, like about Wuthering Heights. That was the name of it. And uh, somewhere in England, right? And so she went to go in this story. I don't know if they're talking about Jane Eyre. I feel like they are. But uh, this could be, you know, this is about somebody who's fantasizing. I, he, she went to go be like the maid, right? To keep the house nice and... Uh, she did and to kind of assist I forgot his name Mr. So-and-so and he you know he began to fall in love with her and that's kind of it and so somebody's in love with you here and they think that you're fate and destiny right uh, no other way to kind of look at this and uh, we have the white dress but you know your person whoever they are Capricorn one of you guys might have money here because this can talk about uh, status sometimes it talks about keeping appearances right? It's also possible that you're dealing with somebody Capricorn who has like a fantasy relationship. Like they have a big mansion or they have this big house or something, but it's fake. It's just kind of like keeping appearances or that you could be, this could be what you're dealing with, but somebody thinks you're fate and destiny and they want to come up. They want to come over, not come up. Come over to join you forever. It looks like because we have treasure island and here's the sea turtle and he's carrying here this little box here with all these hearts fluttering and the starfish and <coughs> <coughs> yeah it's really beautiful here he's going somewhere your person's uh they maybe they're coming to you kind of by water possibly but <coughs> we have poised and here is the fairy jumping for joy and she's a beautiful fairy here. And poise talks about I'm ready. Right? Or this is poised for, it could also talk about this situation is poised for a new beginning. It's poised for success. Right? And we have the warrior. So this person's going to fight for this. Capricorn. They are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this fate and destiny. Somebody might have been. Because this is a hard way to find out that you're like, you're meant for somebody or that they are your fated partner. You're, they're your destiny. Your person could have like, maybe they're in another relationship that looks like maybe not great. Maybe there's money over here. It looks like there is, but it doesn't look like they're happy at all because poor Eileen Chang, she had to run away. Maybe they're running away from somebody, Capricorn. They might, I mean, you could be saying, what? I mean, sometimes people escape from there. I mean, they just, you know, they're just like up and go. And so it can be seen as an escape because they're like, I need to get the hell out of here, right? <laughs> we have Guinevere and this is true love. 
yeah i was i just i wasn't gonna pull this extra card but i go eh just get it right uh there's no eh about this right the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you yeah this is true love and fate and destiny it doesn't get any better capricorn all right it doesn't so let's see today we're going to use the housewives deck right because we need we need some uh we need uh what's it called we need <clears throat> we need humor here capricorn yeah don't forget to type in my uh my name right if you power and light tarot if you want to see these readings but let's get started and we are using the housewives deck the bottom of the deck is the hanged man and this is a sacrifice or an epiphany now she's sacrificing her husband because he's hanging upside down on the clothesline right right next to her panties here right and she said too bad <laughs> and she's laughing and he's saying please let me out <laughs> please let me off the line right okay so let's see what we have and let's get a few shuffles in and yeah we're gonna have fun we like to have fun with this deck let's see what we have for for capricorn and remember capricorn this could be your person spread too right it could be some of it most of it a little bit but the story belongs to both of you it does so let's see here it belongs to guinevere here no i'm just teasing or eileen chang no it belongs to you and a warrior i believe who wants to fight for this because they know that you're their treasure this person knows that and they know that you are fated to be with them and they know that this is a great calling like i can't i can't miss this opportunity with capricorn i can't do it so let's see what else let's see what we have the ten of swords ouch you see your person's trying to swim away or get away from a situation here yeah they are omg and the five of four of wands i hope it's not like eileen chang situation capricorn i hope it's not right <laughs> if you read the story you'll be like oh my god is it that bad let's see and we have the four of wands crossing this is resting up so you know this could be a, a an ending the ten of swords it could be something that's kind of like really disturbing a completing a cycle and this is the overall energy and challenging that is resting up for upcoming ordeals that's what this four of wands talks about yeah she's drink, drinking a i mean they say it's a shirley temple for me you know uh she's drinking a cosmo but she's up here on this cot and they're building the house below her your person either you or your person is like planning this right but like you know there's going to be up upcoming ordeals or they know and why it's all happening is the eight of cups this is a failed relationship it is and this lady have eight she has eight coffee cups to wash yeah maybe you're a person's person they don't like to do the dishes who knows <laughs> let's see what else we have we have the ace of swords this is in the past but you know this wanted to flip out in the beginning this is an ordeal it wanted to flip out in the reverse rather this is an ordeal as the ace of swords because the housewife you know she's trying to she has to cut all these cakes but she's used she's not even using a cake knife she's using you know a cake cutter she's using this kind of a meat like another type of knife so there was an ordeal in the past this relationship was an ordeal it looks like omg and what's on your mind eight of wands are you gonna have progress right here's the happy housewife and she has all these brooms and wands and brooms or uh brooms and mops and so you know she's she's on her eight of wands this is fast change you're wondering here if this is going to change like in the near future is this gonna yeah is it gonna happen the king of cups is in your near future this is mystery and devotion so we're gonna see about that he's drinking maybe you know some maybe someone's drinking here but uh the mystery is like you know I, I need to figure this out or or i need to plan i need to plan for my next step but there's devotion here it's interesting how he sits underneath the ten of swords like i need to plan this ending with somebody it looks like and the six of cups is your concern this is your, your person from the past it could be and this is you know 
here she is drinking the pink lemonade this lemonade this is your concern you already made some memories with this person i feel like you're going to be you're concerned if they're maybe if they're devoted enough to come forward yeah because what's on your mind is progress and you know this could have been an ordeal for you maybe this is your maybe you broke up with them in the past maybe i don't think so because remember you guys the the order of the cards i put out you know this deck i put out this other deck with a couple cards and then you know one here but it comes out in the exact order like over here is trials and tribulations here the Fa eileen chang uh, and the white dress and this emily bronte too but this person's probably fantasizing about you or you are but we have this status or keeping appearances here and then right after that it's like this person maybe was like <clears throat> i just feel like they're keeping appearances with some type of money situation or they were like maybe sometimes keep, keep, keeping appearances just like acting like you're you know you're not really going to leave somebody but you are something like that or you know or you're happy but after the once you get to the treasure island poised the warrior and true love omg so this is what i mean this is going to happen for you it does look like that in your in your environment is the ace of cups you see there it is a brand new beginning in love right here in your in your new in your in your environment and the empress is what you're hoping for so this is success and it's somebody who is nurturing right the empress is like a nurturing energy but she's holding up she's a housewife and you know she wants to make some a little bit of extra money because her husband already has a great job yeah pretty sure here but she's over here with her card table and she's she, this is her recipe like she made it up for this cake right with you know pink i don't know pink pink something which doesn't look good to me but you know to each his own right in those days there were all that kind of stuff candy uh what's it called the candy cotton the yucky right page of pentacles you guys so you're hoping that this is going to be a success they're going to come and nurture this and here's the page of pentacles you're hoping and he's helping his mother he's putting all these dishes away <clears throat> because he's going to get you know 50 cents back in the day right he's going to get 50 cents and he could do a lot with that 50 cents yeah you could get a soda bag of chips and you know a candy bar you could <clears throat> So you're hoping that they're going to be attentive and that this is, and that they're going to nurture this. They're going to really give to this. That's what you're hoping for. Let's see what's showing up in the near future here. This, you know, your person here has upcoming ordeals. Probably with this, you know, with this Eileen Chang relationship, like a similar relationship. Yeah, she had to run away from her mom and her dad. Yeah and they were you know they put her and they put uh they put her and the nurse i feel like it was i don't know if it was i think the nurse rescued her but she was sick and her parents told her you're not sick and they put her in the closet and so you know i don't know if your person's been dealing with that kind but this is like uh fate and destiny but happening after some type of difficult situation and let's see why that king of cups is there and the king of pentacles that's you capricorn Let's see what else we have. It's like a family man here, or if, you know, somebody who kind of wants a family, it can be, or not necessarily a family, but kind of wants to be a good man. The Queen of Cups with it. Wow. Yeah, this is going to work for you here. I don't know. Look at this. We have the King and the Queen of Cups. This is a divine couple. I mean, you could never tell if you were looking at the cards, right? And she looks like somebody kind of from church, like my one of my aunt's friends here with this dress on. <laughs> and so let's see what we have because we're going to do, in the extended, we're going to do their spread. And we're going to see what's going on with them, right? But let's see. We're also going to do the Tree of Life Oracle reading. And in the extended about them, Capricorn, is how they feel about you, the underlying energies, what they want, what they're afraid of 
They're a challenge because these aren't their cards. What's unknown about them? Yeah. And of course, how they feel about you, right? Let's see what else we have, Capricorn, for them. We're just going to put a few cards. The test for Capricorn's person. This is their spread, the beginning of it. The disciple. These are looking good here. The test is like they're ready to try this. And the tempter. OMG, we're going to finish this in the other reading. It's a 10-card spread. They're all super affordable. The link is always below Capricorn in the description box. You guys remember that you have to type in power and light tarot if you want to see my readings. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.